All right, so this is going to be the puppy party video um, going over for this coming weekend. I'm going to try and summarize what we're going to do. Um, these are our obstacles. So um, first, I just want to start with that there is a reason why we're doing this at six weeks old. And that is because puppies best approach with the least amount of fear happens at six weeks old. So that's why we're choosing this time. It's because we really want less fear and to use the natural encouragement that they already have for curiosity. Um, please consider this kind of an imprinting. So that goes both ways. We can imprint either for a good and brave and courageous response, or we can imprint, this is terrifying, I never want to set foot outside my house. So, um, again, that's why I'm making this video so that you guys can come with a little bit better idea. I am going to have helpers as well as myself uh, when you come. So the object, the objective here is that the puppy is choosing to do each of these pieces of equipment. This is the, I've been calling it the high walk, the tunnel, and the wobble board. Um, we want the puppy to walk across, up and down himself, through, across, all by themselves, okay? We're going to encourage when they make the movement and the action. So um, we will never actually pick the puppy up and place them on there. We'll never actually pick a foot up and put it on there. We're never going to actually set them inside the tunnel. We are never going to physically put the puppy up there. We are encouraging them to do it themselves. So that is a part of uh, reinforcing confidence and control versus mechanic. Uh, know that when you imprint on a puppy, you have until basically 11 weeks old to figure out where their fear level will level off. And we really would love it if they had a, uh, a recognition and a go past it standpoint when it comes to fear. We want them to recognize things, but not run from them. So big difference in there. Um, a lot of times too, people will have an, have an initial reaction or a instinctual reaction, there's the word I'm looking for, to go, come on puppy puppy, you can do it, yes. And that happens when the puppy's just sitting there. And that encourages them to not do anything. They don't have to face their fear. Um, picking them up and you placing it on them means you can do it for them. So we we really want to encourage the dog to do it themselves. Because these guys are going to be big guys too. They're going to be 65 plus pounds. You don't want to be carrying around them everywhere. Um, so make sure that you're reinforcing um, the action of courage and not the fear and the sitting there. And that's Again, you see these and they look kind of piddly fart, but we want them to be just scary enough to bring out a brave, but not terrifying so that they are imprinted with fear forever. That's not what we want. Uh, and again, this is my first puppy party, so I'm going to be really picky as I go through and really watch everybody because I want you guys to do it right. I, I want your puppies to have this confidence for the rest of their life that they can go anywhere and go into anything. You want them to be able to go into different types of flooring and different types of movements um, on boats and you know uneven surfaces. If you're going to do agility, these are all things that are going to help them in the long run. Um, so what Saturday is going to look like is that you're going to have two minutes per station. It doesn't seem like a lot, but a puppy will come out so we're going to say puppy A spends two minutes going on the high walk. Maybe they don't make it all the way over. That's totally fine. The next two minutes is going to be on the tunnel. The two, next two minutes is going to be on the wobble board. And then they go away and we bring out another puppy. So we're going to do three at a time so that we're not here for three hours doing this, working on stations, but only here for about an hour and a half. And then we get to eat. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, it, each, we want them to have enough time to go across, but not so much that they get bored with it either. Um, now, here in a minute, my uh, my helper, assistant, I'm not sure what you want to call yourself, Bree, um, she's on the side of the camera, but she's going to help me out with this. Um, and I'm going to go over this real briefly. We're going to do the tunnel. You're going to have a person on each end. 
to encourage the puppy to go back and forth. Again, they should naturally want to come to a person. Um, and we want to encourage and click each and every step that they have. Um, click and treat is what you're going to hear all the time. Click and treat, click and treat. Um, the high walk here, um, even if they don't go all the way over it, if they take a couple of steps onto it, we're going to congratulate the steps that they do make. Um, when you have two people at a station, you're a, it makes it simpler so that one person can be in front, click, treat, click, treat, click, treat, and the other person will kind of help balance your puppy so they don't fall off if, because they're puppies. They're like roly polies right now. Uh, we, we don't want them to fall off. Um, and then the wobble board, we're going to start at the base uh, that's touching the ground and then have them go across. Now, I got a... Um, a puppy basically she's still very much a puppy about the same time that we had um, this litter of roadster racers I think about her the week before and so she unfortunately hasn't been worked with as much as probably the puppies have because I've been giving attention to your puppies and not instead of mine um, so she should be in a very similar state of mind even though she's seven months old now um, as far as distraction goes basically um, we got her to step into the tunnel um, again she's seven months old she's a shih tzu <laughs> speaks for itself no um she's just very much a puppy yeah come here so we're just gonna I'm just basically gonna show you how doing this all should look basically I'm just gonna take this treat and I'm gonna put it inside the tunnel and when she takes a step in I click the next time I'm going to do it again, and Bree's going to help me out here. You have more treats? Yeah. Can I get that thing up in your face? Yeah. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Tracy. <laughs> She's giving up on this one, huh? Again, we'll work with each puppy for about two minutes at each station, and then they'll get to go through the rotation two more times after the first initial one. So, not too bad. Um, let's go to the high walk here. And this one shouldn't be too bad as far as she goes, just because she's got a little more balance than a puppy does, or than a six week old puppy. has the attention span of those puppies. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get those back. There you go. Come on. <laughs> so this one isn't actually screwed 
it on. It doesn't have quite the right angle. We'll get that fixed before this weekend. Um, but that was really good. And that's basically kind of what you're looking for. And then last but not least, we've got the wobble board here. And we grab a few more treats. She's doing so well at this. I'm really happy. Why don't you any help with this one? so she can get all fours on there. Because <laughs> she stretches so far. You want to hold the board, let it stop rock from rocking until we get all fours up there. See if we can make her a little bit more comfortable with that. should look um, especially for the first go around and um, you know once they get to the third time into it they're gonna start to know what's going on and should be nice and simple and easy hopefully you guys enjoy thanks again <laughs>